All right, here we are, our final one. And this one wasn't even recommended by any of those affiliate marketing websites. This one actually Amazon found for me, just random. 80 bucks, four antennas, TP-Link, TLWA3001, Wi-Fi 6, AX3000. $81 here on Prime. If it doesn't work, guess what? Free returns. That's where they've all gone. So, got this one hooked up. Same spot, same distance, about eight feet away. Same exact Microsoft laptop, Surface laptop. Testing it, 500 gig up, 500 gig down, fiber. The main goal is to get good speeds out in my living room and then to my outside garage and smart lights in my yard. Now the speeds by most of these, I started with a TP link, but highly recommended on all these affiliate marketing websites. Um, tried the TP link deco, um, Omadas. Yeah. Everyone recommends these Omadas. They were okay. Wasn't that great. The decos for the price so far, I think, were the best ones because you got two of them. And here we get one of these guys, one big one, not really a ceiling mount, just sits on a shelf somewhere. So here we are, speed test on my test network, five gigahertz. Looking good. I'm only supposed to get 500 and I'm getting almost six. Upload, almost getting 400. So I'm gonna run this just like we do every time, run them one more time just to make sure. Almost the exact same download really good uploads looking really good it's almost gonna crack 400 might make 450 does it go to five almost hit 500 there so 586 by 484 that is really good so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break and we're gonna come back and check from the office which has always been a bad point and check from the backyard and the garage. All right, here we are in the office, which is where every single access point has dropped off. We'll see which one. Ooh, I have full bars in here. This is shocking. All right, let's see what our speeds are. Oh, wow. We might be onto something. It's definitely much better than any access point we have tested in the office here. Like way better. Um, see those affiliate market sites, they really don't care because they don't get paid unless you buy the ones that Amazon or other companies are getting you to buy. So, like I was saying, they don't get paid if you buy something else. And this one just came up on my feed. And I found it, read the reviews. They all seem good. Let's go outside and test it. All right, we're walking all the way out to the back of my yard where my smart cameras and smart lights are. They run on a 2.4 gigahertz network, but we've always been testing the 5. Let's test the 5. This is definitely the best one yet. Wow. This is really good. I, had, I did drop off some bars, which is normal while testing. Every one of them did. So I am down to one bar while running the test. Tests over. It gives me one more bar. Let's flip over to the, the 2.4. All right, so we're going to test 2.4 in here in a second. Um, same amount of signal bars, really good. I would assume the speeds are going to get cut in half. 
Uh, that's actually the speeds of the 5 gigahertz network on all the other access points. So this is a really good sign. Might keep this one. This could be a keeper. Let's see what happens here. All right, so normally I would be done testing. I'm going to be testing this on our second floor and then to our front yard. Um, right now I'm going to go into the garage, which is where the signal drops off more than anything. So garage door closed. All right, going to the furthest point in the garage, my 2.4 has not dropped off yet. I'm still connected to that one. All right, so I'm at the furthest point in the garage where every single one of our access points is dropped down the one signal bar. This one is at two, running the 2.4 test. All right, it's about the speeds I would expect, but it's really good compared to all the other ones. I was using my laptop out here today and my phone, and they both could barely stay connected just streaming Pandora music. Um, and that was on the five gigahertz from my at t fiber. So we're going to switch over. Let's do the five out here just so we can see what it's like. Five has got currently one signal bar. But imagine I'm not going to get much good speeds out of this thing. Oh, I am wrong. One signal bar and this thing is just cranking. I would find it hard to believe that I'm going to return. There's no way I'm going to return this one. So I have not seen this device listed on any review website as like top access points anywhere. And so far, I would highly recommend it. Now, I know people are going to say, well, what can you do with it? And blah, blah, blah. Look, if you just need a basic access point to mesh with your current router, so far, I'd say this is for sure a winner. And I apologize to TP-Link in the beginning, but their Omadas were not good, and neither were their Decos, but this one seems to be good so far. I'm going to head back in. I'm going to test out the front yard and the second floor tomorrow. All right, here we are. It's going to be a little loud. A lot of people are coming home. Out my front yard on the 5 gigahertz. Plenty of signal bars, which is shocking how far away I am. All right, there we go. There it dropped. Let's run the test. Still really good. And this is at one bar. Wow. All right, this is quite impressive considering. And I'm wondering what my AT&T fiber is doing. The fiber doesn't even reach this far. Let's try the 2.4. All right, so. All right, the 2.4 gigahertz off of the TP link only dropped one signal bar. But, okay, the speed's dropped off significantly, which would be. Yeah, that would be expected, which is all right. It's pretty far away. I'm going to run the test again on the 2.4, but I wouldn't expect the 2.4 to be any good all the way out here, but all right. Anyway, it was just a hiccup in the testing, but. I do have a smart camera out here, so if I can get over 10, which I'm going to get, I'm going to be doing all right. And I'm just going to take this back inside. Speeds are looking good as I walk back inside. I'm going to go upstairs really quick. Upstairs, where I get a lot of guests. This is a pretty good distance away from the access point. Really good speeds here on the 2.4. Trying to think which one was the best here, if it might have been the Meraki. I'd have to go look. All right, let's switch over to the 5 gigahertz. Signal bars are at full. 
So I'm going to switch over to the 5 gigahertz. It says it's down one signal bar, so it's got only three. So this is not full strength. All right, we're going to run a test again. Whew, this is by far the best. Yeah, so I don't really need to see anymore. I'm keeping this one. All those websites, which I'm going to do a post here later to show you these websites and all their reviews. And I would, I'm wondering after me clicking on this thing so much on Amazon, if they'll start showing me in my Google search results. However, here we are again, this device, it just, I'm just throwing it up on top of my, um, I have a little receiver cabinet built in area that it's going to go up on top of might get better or worse. I don't know. I might have to adjust, but this is the winner by far. And I said to myself, this was going to be the last one, no matter what TP link TLWA 3001 Wi-Fi 6 AX 3000. Highly recommend it. You can split the bands into two separate SSIDs. I mean, by far, this is for the money, and even if money wasn't a factor, hands down the best one. All right, this is my final review, and I'll do a final post about the websites and show you how they're not to be trusted when searching about this stuff. Um, you know, ratings, yeah, maybe they're to be a little trusted, but you got to dive deep into things, and I'll show you some of that on my next video.